Hi, today I'm going to tell you Sophie's story today. The last train home. Sophie had planned her day trip to the city for weeks. She was excited to explore the art galleries, indulge in delicious food, and maybe even catch a show if she had time. The day went by in a blur of excitement, but as she left the last gallery, she realized that she had missed the last train home. Sophie's heart sank as she realized that she might have to spend the night in the city. Desperate, Sophie began to ask around for any other transport options. However, every bus and taxi driver she asked had already closed shop for the night. Feeling hopeless, Sophie walked the deserted streets, her bag feeling heavy and cumbersome on her shoulder. It was then that a man appeared out of nowhere, offering her a ride home. At first, Sophie was wary, but the man seemed harmless enough. He explained that he was a taxi driver who had finished his shift, and he was heading back to her town. Sophie hesitated, but the man assured her that he was trustworthy and offered to show her his identification and taxi license. As they drove through the dark and winding roads, Sophie couldn't help but feel uneasy. She kept her hand on her bag, her eyes darting around the car and her heart racing. After a few minutes, the man suddenly pulled over and turned to Sophie, his face contorted in anger. He demanded that she hand over her belongings, including her purse and phone. Sophie's heart raced as she tried to open the door, but it was locked. The man leaned over, reaching for her purse, but Sophie managed to kick him in the groin and run out of the car. She ran as fast as she could towards the train station, not daring to look back. As she arrived at the station, she saw the last train pulling away, but she refused to give up. She sprinted towards the train, jumping onto the last carriage and collapsing onto a seat, out of breath and shaking. As the train pulled out of the station, Sophie knew that she had narrowly escaped a dangerous situation. She shuddered at the thought of what could have happened and silently thanked her lucky stars that she had made it back home safely. Thanks for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.